This time on the Homeowner Series. We'll be making our way to the small town of Farmsville, North Carolina to go on what I feel to be considered a high-speed vacation by just hanging out with the boys and getting to try some things I've never done before. We are gonna take the dirt car to North Carolina with us and try and get a couple races in. We'll see how that goes. And we'll get to run my buddy John Deere Inspired F-150. So let's get into the action. We'll see you in a bit. What's up of the morning to you laddies? My name is Ewan Man Buck. Welcome back to the Homeowner Series on UMRV. Me and the boys, being Daryl, Kevin, and Corey, will be heading out to North Carolina since it's a bit nippy out here at a slightly bone-chilling 22 degrees, but that's also just me being a slight baby, even though there's a 15 to 20 mile an hour wind gust going on right now. Popping into the shop, we went and bought one of these it's it's an over it's it's a retired racing go-kart don't blame me i checked it still fits within regulations but i wanted to buy one so we're taking this we are also heading we're, we're heading to north carolina but we're heading to charlotte but we're staying in a town called farmsville which is just uh about 30 40 minutes outside of charlotte but we're taking the ump modified we're gonna be going out to the dirt track at charlotte we'll be doing some laps doing a race the boys are gonna help me out we gotta load everything up but we're going to be taking the Jamboree and my big yellow car hauling trailer, which is just held right back here in the back half of the property. Now, while we're getting everything else folded in and situated for the road travel, I do want to note that there is a racetrack for the go-karts that we're going to be taking the go-kart to. All of us are going to try and enter in a little race. We're just prepping for the, the race out in the track. I'm going to be the only one in the actual modified, but... Hey, it doesn't hurt to get a couple warm-up laps in, right? A team from here is gonna get loaded up in its trailer and be on their way. Now, if y'all have not already, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. As you know, we are on the race to 75,000 public subscribers by the end of 2023. I tried to convince him that we didn't need it, but Kevin would not listen to me. So he is following us in the Monte Carlo just so we have some sort of fuel efficient vehicle that gets half decent gas mileage where we're going. We're not going to waste too much time getting it tracked to supply. So here's a quick snippet of us farting around with this tiny little scooter. And with that, we'll see you guys in North Carolina. And after a very long drive, we have just now reached the outskirts of Farmville. I messed it up. It's not Farmsville. It's Farmville, North Carolina. And it should just be just past this tree line. That would be correct. There is our campground. Not a whole lot of uh, people coming out this week. Kind of surprising. I'm going to try and find the most convenient spot to put this, and it might be probably right in here somewhere. Now with the camper unfolded and plugged it into the 30 amp system, since I only run one air conditioner, we're not really going to be running that when it is freezing cold outside. And it's about at least 60 here right now. But I'm going to grab my little mini bike and let's puddle our way over to the racetrack. Okay, so there's the go-kart track. That place is actually cool looking. That's a legitimate track. And there's the motocross. Let's see if I can get in there. Ooh, they got gates open. I'm gonna off-road the Coleman mini bike. That'll be the that'll be the thing of the day. Hi, my name is Rental Man Buck. I call this one the Chump Jump. Welcome to. <laughs> Let's get it. That was utterly pathetic, but I think I might actually try it later on with a dirt bike if someone lets me try using theirs. I'll head back to the campgrounds, meet up with the boys, and we'll come out here and we'll do some go kart racing quick. We'll see you guys in a bit. I guess conveniently we all have the same cart, but I have nothing to fear. I'm going to take a quick little pace lap for myself. We're pretty much just doing this until we can stall time to go to the actual race that we're going to be going to tomorrow. I have to get my skills up though so I can actually race, even though this racing and what I have to go race are two completely different styles of racing. 
Handling on these go-karts go is fantastic, though. I, I love the amount of grip that go-karts actually have. I'm going to live on a hope and a prayer that if I use follow me, these uh, the everybody's actually going to work just fine, even though this would legitimately be a really good multiplayer race since this is an actual track. But yeah, let's get the lineup grid set, and we'll see how well we can do against the boys. We're just taking our very slow pace lap because I'm crossing my fingers that this follow me can somewhat pull through. I guarantee you it won't, but it'll be funny to watch it try. I just know I gotta stay as close as I can to the right side of the track because this is, uh, this will be entertaining. The increase in pace speeds has yet to actually mess anybody up, so I'm gonna keep rolling with this. And we will be coming to the green flag this time. Daryl is keeping pretty close to me. I don't know how well this is going to work, but it'll be a five lap shootout. And all I got to know is just for the sake of AI, I need to stay as close to the right side of the track as possible. All right, it's go time. Let's see what you got, Corey. They are actually holding up. This is awesome. Dude, Daryl is coming at it. Coming up to lap two. I'll be interested to see if I can lap anybody. Hang on, we got a reset. Daryl got stuck in the wall and Joey got stuck over here on where I, I messed up. I wondered if my guys were gonna get stuck on this. Get Daryl back in line and we'll go green again for lap three. Now we're getting everybody in the grid warm back up again. Daryl took just a split second, had to run to the restroom. We're coming to the green flag, and I am gonna go full out, try to stay as close to the, as I've been saying, the right side of the track, and I wanna see if I can lap anybody. We go for like, I know I said it's like a five lap shootout, but I really wanna see if I can lap as many people as possible, so. Be as fast as possible. They took a little bit to get up to the green flag, but that's okay. I think that was Kevin, there goes Corey. See how fast I can run, there goes Daryl. All right, so Daryl we're already catching up with. There goes Corey, somebody's gonna hit that. I guarantee you at my outside line's probably gonna hit that. I'm already starting to make some progress up on the back side of the field. I am very impressed with the AI right now. They have, there goes Daryl, okay. Daryl's still there, Corey's pretty far behind. I don't know what his problem is, but Daryl's keeping pace. There's Kevin. There goes Corey. All right, so now we're catching up to the back half of the field. It'll be interesting to see because I'm running my previous line. Oh, hello. Watch out for traffic. Running through the field. Got to get to the slow cars. And these guys do not know when to stop. Okay. Okay, Corey lost it. Corey stopped. I'm just gonna finish through the line and this should be the race. There's Kevin, can we lap Kevin? Can we lap Kevin? We lap Kevin! Nice! Okay, well they finished that and we get our carts put back into the spot. We're gonna head back to the campsite. We're gonna take the boys over to the motocross track and try and jump and do something over there for the night until we have to head out to Charlotte in the morning. Pulling in now, at least they have good parking. That is for certain. How we're gonna be able to get on this motocross track, that's another thing. Yeah, hi, it's Buck. I'm here to check in on the motocross for the rental. It is the one that's down in the shop. Very nice, thank you, sir. Give her a little kickstart. Woo! But I'm gonna try and run this motocross track once and not die because that would be a bad thing. Actually, I'm gonna grab my helmet out of the back of the car. With my yellow race helmet, we are set to go. Now, I have never in my life done anything with motocross, nor have I ever really jumped anything. I mean, I've jumped stuff before, but I've never done anything like this. So you guys are gonna get to see firsthand what Dumbo looks like doing something he really shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Okay, this is bumpy. Ow, ow. This hurts my butt. This hurts my butt. Ow, ow. How do you people do this? Well, I also know it's supposed to be hitting this smooth, but I am not hitting this smooth in any way, shape, or form, and I just missed the jump. At least I'm already almost halfway done. This is petrifying.
Go to first person, it'll probably look even worse. Ow. 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 There's a good jump. Oh, that was actually a really good one. Farm Sim Physics, I love you! And final jump. Very uneventful. Through the line. Beautiful. I'm going home. That hurt. My back hurts. How do you people do that for a living? With everything now locked up, Kevin, you know there were, you got the coordinates, right? Okay. We are ready and set to hit the road. We will see you guys over at Charlotte. Well, we can start getting our qualifying and racing in since it's pretty early this morning, but qualifying doesn't open until about three o'clock, or that's when our, at least our practice runs start. But we'll manage that and take care of that once we get there. Until then, we'll see you guys at Charlotte. So welcome everybody to iRacing. If you haven't noticed yet, the camera angle's a little bit different now. We got our boy Corey right there running our sign stop. We have, if I can look back here, maybe... No, you cannot see him. Daryl is our spotter, and Kevin is our, like, manager of the flags and everything else in the pits. But we have iRacing with the VR headset, so that is correct. Get our ignition fired on. Oh, I love that. So throw it into gear. And if you guys know anything about iRacing, basically the best driving mechanics in the face of planet Earth. I have driven this track maybe twice in my life. And now that I have VR, this is gonna be even more interesting. Oh, this is so much more difficult when you can't see the steering wheel. Now, I tried my best to pretty much find out whether or not... Hey, look at that! We actually started to figure this track out! I stand corrected. Now, I've been trying to figure this iRacing thing out for a while now. Yes, I get it. Thank you, Kevin. I don't have the ability to do a racing with AI on a dirt track. I thought I would. But apparently not. So, Charlotte, we're going to be pretty much just running some practice laps in the UMP Modified, being my Vermeer car. We are now fixed, so let's get it fired back up again. Thank you, Corey. Let's try this again. I want to see if I can beat my fastest lap two times in a row. Coming to the restart. Here we go. So I gotta stay within this dark stuff, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Yeah, there we go. Nope, too high, too high, too high, too high. Way too high. Way too high. Oh, that's a good corner. That was a eh, half decent corner, I guess. Don't go to the wall! I don't think I messed up my wheel that bad. Twelve seconds later. Let's try this again. That's a tire! You didn't see that. Clearly you can tell I am not the best race car driver. Not even in the slightest. The engine will still have minor damage. Kevin, could you just not, please? Like, leave me alone. We'll try that again. I lost steering. I still gotta beat that dang 16 2. Well, let's see what happens if we can just kind of run into the start already going. I can see all that loose dirt on the top of the bottom part of the track, but you gotta stay on this low side. And I already messed up my. I need assistance. <laughs> uh. Little help. What the heck even happened? I need to see that up close. I need to see what happened from a perspective that I can get like a really close up view. Yes! What the heck happened? Oh, you dummy. Oh, you dummy. This is why you don't let me race, okay? 
This is exactly why you don't let me race. Well, let's try this one more time, and then we're gonna head over to Charlotte and meet up with our other buddy and maybe go drive ourselves a cup truck. These boys put up with me so many more times than they should. Wasted enough fuel and enough time. The best I was gonna be able to get, I think, was a 16.5 is what my best lap was, at least today. Well, let's get back into the pits. We're gonna get the car loaded back up in the trailer, and we're gonna head over to Charlotte. Kevin, I'm talking on the radio. Stop talking. Two, one, right here. Pit box is early. Be ready. That doesn't matter. Boys, we're packing up. We're heading over to the. We're heading over to Charlotte. We're gonna keep the ball rolling. We're gonna roll over to Charlotte, which is just over yonder. Get the car loaded up in the trailer, and then we're gonna go and meet up with our buddy in the John Deere Craftsman Cup trucks as they got a race going on, or some sort of exhibition race. And we'll race with them. See you guys in a bit. So welcome now, everybody, to Charlotte Motor Speedway, where I am just now getting it. Well, I was just getting out there for practice, so that's our buddy's John Deere car, that we're, John Deere truck that we're gonna be running. It's kind of an honor because this is a really cool looking machine and I'm going to get the chance to run this. It's just going to be an exhibition race, but hey, that's still good practice for me in reality. I should have these things I news. But I mean, it gets pretty rowdy in this thing and we got to go out and qualify. This is just a little bit of footage from when I was out there doing some practice laps. And, and the truck runs pretty tight. I mean, I know Charlotte's not. still can get quite a bit of good experience just going through these things and let's get to some qualifying now we got two laps according to how i did this and i set up the race it's two laps qualifying because that's what every nascar game i've ever played i remember it being so we got our pit crew boys ready on the ready on the guns for us but let's get to the start of this lap and we'll see what we can do for qualifying there's one thing I remember specifically about the trucks is how much looser they always ran compared to the, the cup cars. Green flag, all right, here we go, qualifying now. Going into turn one, be kind of careful in the back end. Full throttle it out. Ooh, that back end is loose. Keep it off the wall. Louder than deep. Gas a little bit and full throttle out for the triangle. I don't know what we said right now. It looks like it says second place maybe. Or that is for third place. One of the two, that was not a good way to do that. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see what we got. Okay, we're set to the grid. I have no idea what place we have. One to go. Next time by. There is no way. The there is no way we just got first place. There is no way we just got first. How the heck did I qualify first? I hate the pole position though because it puts already an amount of stress on you that you don't need to have. But hey, if we can hold on to this. I believe the race, the exhibition is 10 laps. 
If we can hold on for 10 laps here, I'll get my first Cup Series ex exhibition win, apparently. I can't tell if that looks like an Alfa Romeo. Either way, boys, we're coming to the green. We'll see you guys at the start finish line, and hopefully, we don't get in too many people's way. destroyed the field. Holy Toledo. I don't know how these people do this for hours on end. That is some dedication. Plus the VR doesn't help out because I feel like I'm nauseated. Woo. Well, it wouldn't be a celebration if we didn't get our victory lap burnout. Do this the old-fashioned American way. I'm fine with that. We'll run back around. We got the black flag. Who cares? I can't even get going anymore. I think I burned through my tires. And there you have it. We won in our buddy's cup truck. I know it was just an exhibition race, but that's still really good. I still felt like we got a lot done. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe down below. Also, be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You guys already know who is in it. We're gonna head our way back over to Iowa so I can get some rest and get some fuel and get some things that we need to have done. We'll see you all in the next one. This is the rental. Man, out. Peace.